All right, bro, so I was re-watching this anime called Gate, right? However, as I'm watching this anime, I'm starting to notice this undertone of a message, or at least they're catering towards a specific group of anime watchers. And those watchers are called lollies. And I deadass was like, whoa. Oh my God. What's going on here? But first of all, let me just make sure everybody's on the same page. Lolly is pretty much a person that enjoys playing with kids but after hours. Like they are attracted to a child's body, but it thinks okay because she's technically not the age of a child. So this is Rory. Now just based on her appearance, how old do you think this person is? What's that? Huh? Yes, you guessed it. 961. Yeah! 961. <laughs> like, fam, there's literally no logic in this. But Katie, under law, she is of legal age, and I should be able to do whatever I want with her. And you know what? You're actually spinning facts right now. Let me go ahead and call my friend real quick, and we can do a little podcast or something about it. But let's move on to this scene where my man was second-guessing his entire life. So this is Itami. Itami's from Japan, and he went through the gate into this new world. Now, of course, people of other nations want to go across the gate and pretty much take some people from the world for themselves. So while they're at a hot springs, there was a secret mission behind the scenes of trying to kidnap the girl. So now Itami wakes up up in the middle of the night and he notices that Rory's up. She tells him about the whole battle that's going on outside but as she's talking to him she's starting to act a little funny. Cause fun fact about this girl is that she loves death. She pretty much gets aroused by people dying. So with all the death going around outside she's starting you know she's starting to get up. And so she tells the Tommy that she needs to go out there and kill some people or he's gonna need to please her himself. And my man's was confused. And so she gets on top of him and it's like yo we gonna have to handle some business. Which at first the Tommy is strong. We have some morals in this country and some child safety laws you know. Shouldn't you and be thinking about doing this sort of stuff with you. He knows that she looks like a kid and this isn't it. But she keeps doing her thing. Like, do her thing, 21. Do her thing. <laughs> but no, she keeps on pushing. And you can see my man slowly and slowly start to break. He has all sorts of laws and confused. He doesn't know if this is right or this is wrong. His head's in this right. Like, bro, he's... So much is going on for him right now. But they're getting closer and closer and closer. And he's, he's folding. My man's folding. He's about to go to the other side. And which he almost did, but... <sighs> Uh? What is that thing? Oh, uh, well, this is called- He was saved by the bell. But let's be honest, right? We all know that if that phone didn't ring, ooh, my man would've win. <laughs> let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. Which I'm like, bro, what am I watching? And then there's other situations where they're pushing this adult male and this small child, which this girl's actually a child, like, what sort of basis could a Japanese bureaucrat possibly have to ask for her release? She's mine, and when she comes of age, it has been decided that she will be my bride. The love between Sugawara and I will last forever. Yeah, uh, and it will all be totally legal, I swear. <laughs> I'm convinced that the creator of this anime is a lolly, but he's smart about it. He only teases the idea of lolly. He doesn't go all the way. It's kind of like when you first meet somebody, you tell them an out-of-pocket joke. You know, just to see if they mess with it or not, you know what I'm saying? But besides that, the anime is solid.